after sound and noise. Now, in previous class, we studied all about pleasant and unpleasant sounds and warning sounds. If you remember, sounds which are harmonious and makes us feel relaxed and happy, such sounds are called pleasant sounds. Sounds which are not good to hear and create disturbances are unpleasant sound. And what are warning sounds? Loud sounds made to alert people about certain situations. Warning sounds are sounds which make people alert in certain situations. So, in today's session, we will be focusing completely on noise pollution, causes of noise pollution, harmful effects of noise pollution and ways to reduce noise pollution. Now, let us see what is noise pollution. First, let's see what is noise. Noise is basically a unpleasant sound. Any loud and unpleasant sound is called noise. Now, what is noise pollution? When noise becomes so excessive that it causes disturbances to the health of living beings, it is called uh, noise pollution. Any loud and unpleasant sound is called noise. The sound which is very loud and which is unpleasant, which we do not like to listen. So, those kind of sound is called noise. When noise becomes so excessive that it causes disturbance to the health of living beings, it is called noise pollution. And it is harmful not only for human beings, it is also harmful for animals. So this noise pollution, it is a type of energy pollution which is drastically and damaging and freely audible. So it is a type of energy pollution which is distracting and damaging and also it is freely audible. So when there is lot of sound which is unwanted, this is called as noise pollution. Now let's see what are the causes of noise pollution. So here we have different causes of noise pollution. First we have 
Machines in factories and industries make a lot of noise. It disturbs the people and animals living in the nearby area. Now, all these commercial and industrial activities and construction activities creates a noise which is not required and which is harmful. Certain construction, construction activities like making roads, flyovers and buildings cause disturbance to people of that area. The noise of some construction activities like making roads, flyovers, building, it also disturb us. And another cause we have movement of vehicles like cars, buses, trains and aeroplanes during landing and takeoff produce disturbing noise. Excessive honking from vehicles contributes to noise pollution. So, all these modes of transportation also produces lot of noise. Then, we have loud noise produced by bursting of crackles also cause noise pollution. Then, use of loudspeakers, listening to loud music and noise created by the use of electrical appliances at home also add to noise pollution. Like electrical appliances like washing machine, mixer grinder, all these creates a loud noise and it these are also some causes of noise pollution. So use of loudspeakers, public speeches, which is given by some politicians, any marriages which is taking place or ban which is passing by. So all these causes noise pollution and which are very harmful. Now let's see harmful effects of noise pollution. The effect which is on the human health. Noise pollution has harmful effects on the physical and mental health of living beings. It will affect our physical and mental health. Now constant loud noise leads to lack of sleep. This makes a person tired and restless. So, we don't feel fresh early in the morning. This constant loud noise, it leads to lack of sleep. We cannot sleep properly and if we don't sleep properly, then we don't feel fresh in the morning. Then, it gives rise to health problems like headache, irritation, hypertension and stress. This noise pollution, this rise to health problems like headache, irritation and hypertension, high blood pressure and which is very harmful for us. Then we have concentration level of people decreases. 
when there is a very loud noise we cannot concentrate on a work so the concentration level decreases which has bad effect on the work we do so we don't we can't do our work properly if there is a loud noise it will decrease our concentration level then this noise pollution can cause temporary or permanent deafness so it will affect our hearing power so sometimes we become deaf permanently or temporarily then because of this noise pollution people cannot talk to each other during loud noise when there is a loud noise when we are talking with each other we cannot talk properly because of this loud noise it causes disturbance so these are some of the harmful effects of noise pollution now effects of noise pollution we have we feel irritated irritation nervousness then increased stress sleep disturbance and it will also increase blood pressure that is hypertension so these are the some of the harmful effect of noise pollution now what is a solution of the noise pollution there are various method or ways to reduce noise pollution now let us talk about them ways to reduce noise pollution first use of public transport and car will should be encouraged to reduce vehicular movement on road so this transport public transport it will also create a noise pollution so we can reduce this honking should be consciously avoided especially near schools hospitals and residential areas honking of vehicles it should be consciously avoided it should be avoided near schools hospitals and residential areas then vehicles machines and appliances at home should be regularly checked and maintained well to reduce noise we can uh, reduce using this uh, home appliances like washing machines mixer grinders it should be regularly checked and maintained well to reduce noise industries airports railway stations should be constructed away from residential area because these industries airports railway stations they produce noise so bursting of fire crackers should be avoided as much as possible we should stop this bursting of fire crackers this fire crackers also produce noise and which is very harmful also then use of loud speakers should be avoided especially at night use of loud speaker and also listening to loud music it should be avoided then using carpets and curtains at home helps in absorbing noise from outside so we can use carpets and curtains okay it will uh, helps 
it helps in observing noise from outside then the most important thing we need to plant more trees around us this trees helps in reducing noise pollution how to help trees and plants absorb noise from surrounding so the best way is we need to plant more trees to avoid this noise pollution so these are some of the ways to reduce noise pollution so these are the ways we can do to control noise pollution and if this is done then large amount of noise pollution can be stopped so these are some of the measures to control noise pollution so we talk about causes of noise pollution and effects of noise pollution and the most important one we talk about the different ways to reduce noise pollution so let's work together towards the eliminating and reducing the noise pollution so that we will be able to live in a safe and noise free environment with this we complete the last and the final part of the chapter so this completes the chapter sound and noise thank you and see you all in our next class